Every 200 kilometers in India seems like a new country. The culture is different, the language is different, the way they layer their garments is different. And each layer of a garment has a different meaning. I like to dictate how fabric should travel. How can I alter the flow of fabric? How can I arrest the drape of a textile? So there's extensive pattern cutting that occurs to create silhouettes that keep changing when garments are layered one on top of each other. So they change in shape, but they also change in meaning. Often there's been this real sense of urgency to uh, capture the meaning of our times. My work tries to show that clothing has been used as a tool by the dominant majority to oppress and subjugate minorities ever since its inception. When I started off making clothes a decade ago, the press used to call me the problem child of Indian fashion. And I think over the years, uh, they've been on this journey with me when now they really understand and they've been really supportive. I'm talking of all the stakeholders. We're talking of retail arms, we're talking of viewers, observers, consumers. When you've got elected officials occupying the highest political offices in the country, single out a particular caste, a particular religion or ethnicity on the basis of their clothing, donning an item of clothing becomes a political act. Especially in today's day and age where clothing becomes our first line of defense, it also becomes our first act of providing relief.